Let's pray, dear Lord, thank you for giving this day, and today we are celebrating JCS's ninth anniversary, and we thank the teachers who pulled up us together, and please help those who are sick, and especially who got COVID in this situation to heal faster, and please help those who are in Turkey to uh, find a way to be safe, and we pray everything in Jesus' name, amen. As I said, she's one of the few who was here when the school started. And that's why I'm trying to ask her how she feels as a student. I also was here almost from the beginning, but I was a teacher all along. So it's different, right? Different feeling from a teacher's perspective to a student's perspective. So I wanted to ask her a few questions. And my first question was, what was your first impression of JCS or VCA back then? Um, for me, my first impression was if you guys look around here, you see like around 60, 70 kids and that's our entire school right now. When I first came to then VCA, there's only 12 kids. I was part of 12 kids and this was spanning from, we didn't have high schoolers then, but it was elementary all the way to middle school and there are only 12 kids. So that was my first impression. Wow, this is very small. We knew everyone and we knew each other's families and everything at that point. And we, our school was really small that on Fridays we'd always go on field trips because there's also, if it's too cold for outdoor PE, we went to museums and stuff. But my first impression was that it's very small, very small community, but it was also very fun yes, to know. Yes. So, it, yes, that's why we call them Avengers. <laughs> and 12, yes. <laughs> and um, how did that lead you to having some memories as you grew up here? You actually just grew up. Uh, yeah, I actually graduated elementary, middle, and now I'm going to graduate high school from here. So I'm going to have my um, diplomas all from here. Yeah. But some of my fondest memories, I think one of them I can remember is actually one of our hallelujah days. I know that some people were there at that time, but our class theme was Alba, um, uh, part-time jobs. So we were um, pretending to be um, Alba from different fast food places or those places, but I remember all of our students coming together at lunchtime. I don't think our students were very passionate up until this point, but all of us were like making these food pieces and making donuts. I, rem I had the donuts at home. I had these fake oh, donuts at home because I was like the Arba from Dunkin' Donuts. But I remember all of us really having a fun time making everything. And even surprisingly, some kids were like, oh, whatever, do whatever topic you want. And then suddenly they came and they made Myeongchar, they made name tags for us. And I was like, okay, thank you. And then it's like very shocking how passionate our kids was were and I thought that was a fun memory. Yeah. Actually, Emily said this is the hardest question for her because there are so many memories and to just pick one that is not easy. But maybe one day we can find that video. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. 2000 something. 2000 something. <laughs> yeah. For me, the best feature of our school personally was I don't know if a lot of kids like this, but I did in a way like how it was a bit small. And the reason is I get to have a very close relationship with not just my friends, but also with teachers. Like I can go to teachers whenever I need help and they're able to help me. But also this small community allows me to have a lot of opportunities. Like I know all of you, uh, many of you guys have participated in musicals and you might think, oh, Musicals, yeah, join them. But actually in like bigger schools, it's very hard to get into musicals. And a lot of times they have to have, we have auditions, but we have auditions to get a part. But in like bigger schools, they have auditions to get in the musical. So you might audition and learn all the songs and then be like, oh, sorry, we're not going to put you on stage. You'll be stage crew. So I think it was a great opportunity for me to be in the smaller community where I have been given opportunities with teachers, other students, and like through musicals, of course, that I can join in a lot of things. For me, I would think that it's a few, a few things that make our school, I guess, um, eye-catching too many new parents or new students. Maybe it could be the Christian community aspect. There's not a lot of schools that have this close-knit Christian community that is purposely trying to make global Christian leaders, but I also think it could be the academics. And I also think that maybe the location is good too. But I think a lot of things come in 
to thought when choosing our school and I was very shocked that we have a lot of new students this time so honestly I'm very curious too like what what made this year very um, available for these students but yeah I think it's a mix of many and actually I asked that question because I also heard from one of the new students or few of the new students they had a similar response and they said they chose our school especially younger ones they said they Kay, uh, they decided to come to our school because our school is <laughs> that, that's what they said seriously that's what they said uh, they said it's it's very warm and it feels like a community as she said it's not a, yeah yeah that's what they felt when they came to our like summer school or winter school and they weren't our students yet they just felt that this is like brother and sister family and they never experienced it in other schools, especially big public schools. I mean, they have good programs too, but then it's very different. And then one of the students also said, oh, at my school they swear, <laughs> older kids swear, and they don't care about younger students. But as I can see that you guys, older students, are always warm and loving towards little ones, and they really appreciate that. And I know older ones also appreciate how little ones are so cute. You know, they're like your younger sister and brother, I hope. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, so I think that community, the feeling of community is our very strong um, feature. I would say. It's wonderful to see, just like Juniper Tree. Even though Juniper Tree isn't a big tree, it's more of a tree, as you guys said, it's a comforting tree. You know, it's a tree where God said, um, I'm here with you. You know, I'm providing these for you. And that's what our school wants to be. And if you see, our motto is, actually there are two verses. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. That's from Proverbs 9.10. And the second one is, oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle. And that's Psalm 43.3. And that's what our school is trying to have as a goal. Our, our school isn't just called Christian school. Our school isn't just, you know, trying to be academically strong, but we really want to be this school where we have light and truth as our goal and as our uh, core, right? Because uh, if you work out, I know Mr. Tommy works out, core is very important, <laughs> all right? And our core is that Jesus Christ, who's our light and truth. And that's what our school wants to focus on. Okay, so as you go on uh, with your studies here at JCS, I really hope that you remember that. Okay, as you grow up here too. And one of you, I mean, so, uh, most of you will also graduate from here, right? So, and that day, maybe I'll interview you too, or you will interview some, uh, someone else, and we'll talk about more good things that our school has grown into. Okay, and thank you. Let's pray.